Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you five easy ways of how you can create digital exit tickets. Alright, so the first way is using, for example, Zoom or Google Meet for um, sharing your screen with your students. And you can just share uh, your um, Google Slides presentation and your students can type in their exit tickets in private messages. For example, in Zoom, it's very easy. You can just tell them to type in their private message and send it to you and you will be receiving it um, instantly and you can save it like in a separate document. All right, the second tool is Socrative. So for that, you will need to go to Socrative.com and create your account, of course, and you're gonna see the options that you can use for your exit tickets. Uh, for uh, using the exit tickets in the classroom, you can use a space race or a quiz or just the exit ticket. I'm gonna show an example of a quiz that you can use as a space race in your classroom. So I already created an exit ticket and for creating a new one, you can click on add quiz. So I'm going to go back to my um, created exit ticket and here you can see the two questions that I already created and you can align it of course with your standards. So the first question is an open-ended question where students will type in their answers. The second one is multiple choice and you can of course add more questions in here. So I'm going to pause right here and I will show you how you can use it in the classroom. So I'll click on launch and then I will click on space race. So here you can preset how many um, uh, teams you are going to have. So you will choose uh, the quiz you're going to use. So you can click on the icon you, icon you can, can use for your um, classes. And the countdown is only for the pro feature. So click on how many teams you want to use. And of course, you can shuffle the questions or shuffle the answers. I'm going to click on shuffle questions. All right, and click on next right here. All right, and you can see um, right away I have three teams. Now we will see how it will uh, be from a student perspective. So as a student, you will type in uh, Socrative student login and you don't need to create an account. So we will look back at the room number. I'll type it in here. And as a student, you will put your name and right away it's going to take you to the questions and it'll show you which team you belong to like for this one it says team blue so the first question the open-ended question is here and after you submit it you will be moved on to the second question and you will see your scores So Kahoot is a great way to use for exit tickets and you can go to kahoot.com and I use Kahoot for formative assessments and uh, yeah, as well as exit tickets and here is an example of one of my Kahoots. I already created the questions for it and I will just click on play so we will see what kind of modes I get here. So you have the teach mode and the assign mode. When I have my online class on Zoom, I usually click on uh, the teach mode. That's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so here you have some options. If your students are using a one-on-one -on -one device, I would use the classic mode. My students would also choose their names and uh, um, I would uh, pick the music for the lobby. The personalized learning feature is only for the premium accounts. So, and I will click on their one-on-one uh, -on -one mode. Here, as you can see, the website prompts my students to, um, to the two features, kahoot.it and if my students have an app that they can use it. So here's my game pin and I usually uh, turn the music down a bit because it's a bit annoying for kids and I don't hear them online. So that's a great feature and kids log in, they answer the questions. It creates a very competitive mode. It's very engaging. So kids absolutely love it. And at the end, uh, they can see their results. Another great tool for exit tickets is Flipgrid. Flipgrid is free for educators and it gives voice to your students. So they not only write their exit tickets, but they also 
produce the language produce the speaking so for example here you can see my exit ticket for my students about their online learning and i'm going to show you a couple of things you might want to consider when you create your exit ticket so there is a title here you can put your prompt in here also um I put some sentence starters in here to help my students start their answer. The timer is here. And important thing is video moderation. If you don't want other students to see your students um, speaking, you can turn it on. So just to make it more safe for your students. So you can also put some attachments in there and uh, put the deadlines, especially if you have like fixed deadlines. Also, you have control over what features you want to be turned on or turned off uh, in your exit ticket. And uh, um, the feedback feature is right there as well. After students make their recordings, you can always access them on the dashboard. And it's a very safe way because you will be the only person who can see them. All right, so the last exit ticket is with Google Forms. I already created one for one of the books my students read. And make sure that you include the student's email and their name and you click on required so they do not skip this question. Uh, I have multiple choice answers uh, um, and questions here and I would click on required as well so the students don't skip them. And uh, we're go going to go down to see uh, an open-ended question. Here I provided sentence starters for this question so students know how to start their answer. Another feature that I include in open-ended uh, questions is the response validation. So it means students won't just write one word answer. And I would put how many characters I want them to include and if they write less than, for example, in this case 50 characters, I would ask them to add more information so they know that they would need to add more. All right, so, and how you can share it with your students, you can give them a link, for example, or you can attach it to your Google Classroom, or if they're still working um, like on a class in Zoom, they can um, click on this link uh, and fill out the exit ticket while they are still in your session. All right, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, hit like, and subscribe to my channel. Take care.